Okay, my name is Peter Magyar. I'm an international business lawyer. I'm a partner at the international law firm of Dewey and LaBeouf, and I've been practicing for just over 25 years. Um, my typical week, uh, it varies tremendously. Um, sometimes on a Monday morning, I'm on a plane to uh, Central Europe or maybe Russia. I might be having a meeting on uh, an international transaction. The type of work that I do is advising companies um, on acquiring other businesses or sometimes selling those businesses and taking those companies, usually non-UK based companies, and floating them, uh, putting them on the London Stock Exchange. So um, my practice is 100% uh, business oriented. Uh, I work um, in a rather large team. All these transactions involve not one lawyer or two lawyers, but often six, seven, eight, nine, ten lawyers. So it's all about working uh, in a team. And sometimes we need uh, specialists as well. So for example, if we're buying a real estate business, we need to get in the property lawyers. If we are dealing with uh, trademarks and patents, we need to bring in uh, the intellectual property lawyers. So we enlarge our team, explain to them what it's all about, and um, they give our, the advice to the client. Typically, we'll communicate with the client um, in face-to-face -face meetings, telephone calls and emails uh, so uh, the, the, the communication is as often or as little um, as clients like. Uh, we spend an awful lot of time uh, in meeting rooms with business people and with lawyers acting for um, the other party to the transaction sitting across the table and uh, that's obviously a great way uh, to get to know people. It's a great way to work out your own strengths and weaknesses uh, under pressure. And it's a terrible way um, to uh, try and lead a healthy life. Very little fresh air, lots of caffeine, Diet Coke and uh, terrible sandwiches. So, so Peter, that's one of the downsides. Um, any other downsides and, and, and some of the upsides as well? I think that the, the toughest um, aspect of being a, a business lawyer is probably the long hours. Um, uh, most lawyers, particularly doing transactional work, will put in um, a, a very long day, often 12, uh, sometimes 14, 16 hours a day. Uh, the, the attitude is you do what you have to do to get the deal done, you have to be seen to be committed, your clients ex expect you to go the extra mile. If you don't, then someone else will. Um, I think the other thing that people, uh, lawyers find difficult, particularly lawyers starting out at the beginning of their careers, um, is um, in the first couple of years, there is uh, quite a lot of uh, fairly mundane um, work. And that, that is quite difficult when you spend a long time at law school um, studying law and you feel you're very qualified and of course you are but then you come into a professional situation and uh, you, you think you're doing fairly menial stuff so I think people find that difficult but that is very quickly overcome and after a couple of years uh, you get tons of responsibility and uh, you start flowering and blossoming as a lawyer in your own right so I think those are the two um, uh, possible downsides. Upsides, well I think it's fantastic uh, to get an insight um, into how the business world operates, to um, sit by business people, see how their mind works, see how their decisions um, are made and help really facilitate um, something new, uh, whether that's establishing a new business or acquiring a new business. Um, I think also um, on the international side, it's fantastic to learn about new cultures um, and um, meet people.
people who view the world very differently. Um, uh, I can't think of a transaction when I haven't um, met someone interesting um, who's taught me something new either about uh, the world uh, or about myself and I think that that is the most rewarding uh, part of, of what I do.